today I wanted to film a little video on how I care for my tape and hair extensions. Uh, in this video, I want to show you how I wash them, how I style them, what products I use. I'm pretty much just going to go through everything I can think of that you need to know about the tape and hair extensions. So I thought I would quickly mention as well who's been doing my hair lately. I've been going to Caitlin Marie Hair. She is honestly insane with blondes. If you jump on her Instagram, it's just Caitlin Marie Hair. I'll like link it down below. Um, check out her transformations. My hair was quite a bit darker when I went to her and with having one full head of foils It was so much lighter. So I've had two full heads of foils with her She also applied my extensions cut them in and she has done the most amazing job So make sure you check her out if you're on the hunt for a new hairdresser So the extensions I'm wearing today are from J'adore hair supplies. These are tapes I have 60 pieces in which is three packets so I have one packet of the number 60 and I also have two packets of the number 60 and 18 mixed which gives a really, really nice effect. I think it just gives like a little bit more depth to the hair when you use like a two-tone one and it kind of goes because I do have my natural hair foiled. This hair is honestly so, so soft. I wish you could feel it through the screen. Um, you can even just see that. I've had this hair in for seven and a half weeks now, so it's definitely due to be reapplied. So I wash my hair twice a week with the extensions in. You don't want to overwash it because it can begin to dry the hair out. So the best way is just washing it once or twice a week. Now the most important thing with your hair extensions is the way that you look after them because if you're going to be using products on them that aren't right for hair extensions, they're not going to last long. They're going to dry out really quickly and there's no turning back from there. So I want to share some products with you that I 100% love and they really, really make my hair feel soft and they keep the extensions feeling really, really nice and hydrated. So this is the shampoo that I've been using. This is from J'adore Hair Supplies also. It's honestly so good. It makes your hair feel really, really nice and soft and it's very, very safe to use on the tapes. So what you want to do first is jump in the shower, wet your hair just as normal. Make sure you get like right in there. Sometimes I kind of turn my head and I make sure I can get right up in the roots. Then I take a couple of pumps of my J'adore shampoo and I'm basically gonna start at the roots. So I kind of start at the top of my hair. Then I pull the hair back to the side so I can get into the sides and I really make sure I get that right into the roots. So with the shampoo, all you're basically trying to do is focus that on your own scalp. So then I pull the hair and do the other side. So to do the underneath part of my hair, I find it easiest to flip my hair over and then I apply some shampoo there. Basically, I just kind of like massage that into my scalp as best as I can. Also being really, really gentle with the extensions. Once I've done that, I wash it out and then I do the process again. So you always want to shampoo your hair twice. So after I've washed that second lot of shampoo out, I'm going to take some of the J'adore conditioner. So when it comes to conditioner, I don't like my hair to be super wet when I apply this. So I kind of try and... Get as much water out of my hair as I can as I flip my hair upside down and apply the conditioner from the mid lengths to the ends. I've noticed that if I put my conditioner on when my hair is like up the normal way, it's much easier to get it on the tapes, which I really don't want to do. So you want to focus the conditioner only on the mid lengths to the ends and I just find it much easier to do it when I flip my hair over. I usually let my conditioner sit in for a couple of minutes before I wash it out. So once I finish washing the conditioner out, I'm going to try and get as much water out of my hair as I can. And then I'm going to wrap my hair in my bamboo charcoal hair wrap towel. This is from SF Hair Care. Honestly, I've found such a big difference since I've been using this. So I normally put it on for about 10 minutes. I find that the hair towel helps get the extra moisture out of the hair so much more. So it's really important when you're drying your hair, you don't want to be rubbing your hair into a towel because that's going to damage the extensions. It also damages your natural hair as well. So I just like to use the hair wrap and basically it just soaks up as much moisture as it can and it does make the drying time become a lot quicker. So once I've had my hair in the little towel for approximately 10 minutes, I take it out and I give it just a little gentle brush. If your hair is a little bit knotty after getting out of the shower, you'll want to start brushing it from the ends first and then slowly bring the brush up to the roots and just do it really, really gentle. Um, another product I've really loved using lately from Jador Hair Supplies is the Smoothing Serum. I do have quite frizzy hair and you can always see like little flyaways. I found that when I use this one, my hair is damp. It definitely reduces the flyaways and it just dries a lot nicer. The hair feels a lot softer. So I just apply one pump and I kind of start working that through the ends. And then when I've got less on my hands, I'll kind of just like touch that over the top. But you don't want to get it on your roots because it is like a little bit of an oily product. So you want to kind of also focus it like mid lengths to the ends. And then when there's less on your hands, you can kind of go over the top just to kind of smooth that. This is another hair oil I've been using quite often. So I kind of like swap and change between the two. Um, again, the same with this one. I kind of put one pump into my hand, rub it together, and I start working it through the ends and then slowly apply a little bit on the top before blow drying. You can also apply a little bit of it after you've straightened your hair as well, just to make sure everything's really, really smooth and looking nice. So once I've applied that serum, I then go ahead and start blow drying my hair. So I do my hair in three sections. 
Usually I start without the little attachment on my hairdryer and I'm kind of just focusing it on the roots, trying to dry the roots as much as I can. Then I separate my hair into three sections and I have two different brushes that I use. Now it's really, really important that you do blow dry your hair every time after you wash it. Because you do have tapes in, it is a lot harder for your roots to dry. So you want to ensure that you're drying your roots so that the tapes can last as long as they can possibly. Because if you're going to let that hair dry naturally, sometimes the tapes can start to get a little bit sticky and they can slide around in your hair. I find that blow drying them just helps them like kind of dry a lot quicker and it like sets that tape back in place. So once I finish blow drying my hair, you want to have a little feel of your roots and make sure they are really, really dry. I know at the back of your hair, it can be quite hard to get that perfectly dry. So really, really take your time with it. When I wash and dry and style my hair, it probably takes me an hour, but at least once I've done that, I know that my hair is already done for the next couple of days and I don't have to worry about doing it until I wash it again. So the straightener that I use is the Muck Wide Plate Straightener and I just think it's a really, really good straightener. I like that you can adjust the heat on it as well. And when I am pulling the straightener through my hair, I do kind of flip it under just slightly because it helps tuck in those little flyaways as well. When it comes to sleeping with your hair extensions, what you want to do is put your hair in like a really loose braid or sometimes I put mine in a really, really loose high ponytail. I just find that it stops your hair matting up when you are asleep. Another thing that I find really, really helpful is every night I sleep on a silk pillowcase and it really does help my hair stay nice and it just helps it not to tangle through the night. Now, if you want to swim with your hair extensions in, whether that be at the beach or in a chlorine pool, it's really important as soon as you get out to wash your hair straight away. The chlorine would be super drying on the extensions and the salt water would also do the same thing. I personally find it easier not to swim with my hair in. I always just have mine in like a top little bun so it doesn't get wet if I go for a swim. So it's really, really important to avoid a lot of products when picking your shampoo and conditioner. Obviously, I've suggested the Jador hair supplies. You don't have to use these products. I just really enjoy using them and they work for me, so I'm pretty much not gonna change. But there are other brands you can obviously try and just see what works for you. Ingredients you really want to avoid with your shampoo and conditioners are products that contain sulfate, protein, keratin, or they have a high alcohol content. It's also really, really important to never sleep with wet hair. So every time you wash your hair, you wanna make sure you're blow drying it straight away. I thought I would also just quickly mention, I know a lot of us blonde girls really enjoy using purple shampoo. Be really, really careful. Purple shampoo tends to make extensions purple. It's such a hard thing to do, but I have worked out a way of doing it. I section my top hair so there's no extensions in this top section and I apply it to this section. I let it sit there for about 15 minutes because my natural hair does tone a lot differently to the extensions. When it comes to doing the extensions, what I do is I jump in the shower and I wet all of my hair. I apply conditioner from about here down just to make sure that the ends aren't gonna like grab to the purple too much. And then what I do is I put the normal amount that you would wash your hair with with shampoo. I put that into a bucket and I fill the bucket up and I stir it around so that it's not nice like purple water. I tip my head upside down and I dunk my head in it a few times. It's the easiest way to get the purple shampoo even because literally if you just tried to wash your hair normally using the purple shampoo and the extensions, it's gonna be super patchy. So I found by dipping your head, I know it sounds funny, but I found by dipping your head in a bucket of water, it makes it so much more even. And by putting conditioner on the ends, it stops the ends from overtoning. So it's really important to be reapplying your tapes every four to six weeks. I know I'm like, I've had mine in for seven and a half weeks now. My hair does grow quite slowly, um, but it's really, really important to keep up with this because the longer you let your hair grow out, the more pressure that's kind of like putting on the roots of your hair and they're more likely to snap. Hopefully I've managed to include everything I wanted to say to you guys today. If I forgot anything, I'll just add it in the description box down below. I just want to say a massive thank you for watching this video today. I hope you found it really, really helpful. If you did find it helpful, you can help me out by giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. I hope you all have the most amazing day and I'll see you in my next video.